The Plymouth County Sheriff's Office confirming 13-year-old Reed M. Swaggerty Morgan of Sioux City was last seen swimming towards a platform in the center of the pond around 2.10 p.m. Saturday. DNR officers and the Plymouth County dive team locating the boy almost two hours later. And 46-year-old Mindy Brown from Sioux City died at Mercy One Siouxland after being pulled from Browns Lake Saturday. She had been swimming with family members and was unable to get back to the boat they were on. Both of these deaths happened outdoors, one in a lake, the other in a pond. And with temperatures rising and supervised swimming pools closed, a lot of folks are using Mother Nature to get their water fix. KCIU 9's Jessica Watson shares how we can all stay safe while out in the great outdoors. Hot, it's windy, uh, um, we're just going to go anchor know. up and let the kids swim on the lily pad. Cool off a little bit. As the summer heat sets in, Siouxlanders are looking for fun ways to cool off this summer. The, all of our outdoor activities have been very popular all spring. Um, since the, uh, the different virus uh, restrictions have been in place, we've, we've done a lot more fishermen, a lot more turkey hunters, and definitely a lot more people out on the water, especially since it's warmed up here with the, uh, with the high temperatures this week. We had a lot of activity on the water. Steve Gribble with Iowa DNR says it's important to remember there are risks associated with swimming in the great outdoors. I'm your name the lakes. It's really uncontrolled. Um, you know, you, you can't see the bottom. You don't know what the depths are. You don't know if there's uh, any hidden obstructions under the water. Uh, very similar to boating. You, you, have to, uh, you have to know your area if you're going to be out there. It's a danger that some parents take very seriously. Put the life jackets on just as soon as we get out of the pickup here at the lake. Uh, I'll put them in the boat and back boat in and they will have their life jackets on the whole time. Gribble also recommends never taking your eyes off your children when they are in the water. I'm sitting down when the boat is moving and keep my life jacket on as we're moving. So if I fall out and get a concussion, I don't uh, drown. In Sioux City, Jessica Watson, KCAU 9 News.